This week we're going to look at standard two, which is know the content and how to teach it. Now, once again, I'll just point out the fact that if you wish to go to the ATSA website and look at the teaching standards, uh, website's right there, teacherstandards.atsa.edu.au, and there's a real good range of examples in this area. Now, for this week, to quickly go over it, 2.1, is content and teaching strategies of the teaching area. So how do you, where are you getting your content from and what are your teaching strategies? So in this case, this person has identified number one, they've identified um, the ICT, how it relates to a history teacher. Um, they've also given not, um, their technological tool, in this case, online encyclopedias, Wikipedia, and given the link. So they're given a tool and a very good link. And now they're giving an example relating back to their history class and how they can use that tool. So again, this person is looking at about a four or five. Here, organizing content into an effective learning teaching sequence. Now, how are you gonna do that? Do you, normally this is done with unit plans, lesson plans, um, uh, looking at Australian curriculum. Uh, in this case, this person is talking again, relating to um, national curriculum, and they're using Prezi as their example. Uh, so they're given a specific example on how it interacts and it helps the teacher and how they can do it. You notice though that they haven't really gone into a specific example for their for their topic. So if this was a history teacher, I would expect them to say, right, give a very specific history. So I'd probably say this one's a four. 2.3 is looking at curriculum assessment and reporting. So what technology can you use to um, augment what you're doing with this? Again, this person's pointed out the good point, a history teacher again, uh, using PowerPoint, Edmodo and so on. So they've got really good use of ICT and so on. Uh, using poll everywhere, so they give an example uh, of how they can use it with their classes. Um, not not really specific for history, but giving you a specific example. So again, four or five. This is probably one of the hardest ones to do. So 2.4 is understand and respect Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islanders to, uh, and their way and their culture to promote reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians. Very long title. Basically, the point that I'm making this, and in your LAMS, it doesn't have an ICT elaboration here, but this is related to um, how you would work with the astra the Aboriginal culture not and the people, not an individual Aboriginal student. You know, that would be in 1.4. So the things you need to be aware of here is that Aboriginal people, uh, if they have someone who's deceased, they don't like, they, there's a respect for those people and they don't like the video content of deceased Aboriginal people portrayed in uh, media, uh, unless they've got special permission. Uh, also, if they're looking at the understanding of the content land, looking at how they've got their, the Aboriginal people have a shared history and learning through storytelling. So if you're looking at their storytelling and their dream time and, and the way they explain stuff, it's all, it's all done by verbal um, connection and like telling stories about the land. So in this case, it, this is quite a hard one to do, but if you, first of all, this person's identified, they need to demonstrate the respect and so on and how they can do it. They're talking about um, getting information from the government and looking at the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities uh, and images the uh, um, on, from the internet. Uh, and identifying that they cannot show um, depictions of, of people who are deceased. The other thing you, you would have to worry about is uh, looking at elders and, and the role that they play. So it's quite an interesting topic, but it, hard to work out how you're gonna embed ICT to deliver this. Uh, literacy and numeracy strategy. So how are you dealing with students in your class as far as literacy and numeracy? Um, and this person has dealt with them as a, then you can use digital tools and here they're talking about literacy and numeracy separate and then they've given an example of tools. So using Excel for numeracy, there are so many things you can use for numeracy, um, whether it be calculators uh, or mathletics or so on, and we'll go into that later. Literacy again is looking at dictionaries, DVDs, television, radio and so on. And 2.6, information communication technology. You're pretty much doing this the entire time you're working with me. Um, but think about how you would use technology um, within your classes. Again, here, this person talking about te technological kinesthetic learners. They want to be very hands-on, uh, cloud computing and so on. So they, this person is quite good, but they haven't really given an example relating back to their curriculum. Because 
for t uh, standard two is know the content how to teach it. Okay, now, can I please point out, uh, just to finish off, that these can be covered in a short couple of sentences, or you can go all out and put in a great deal of information. Uh, one of the greatest complaints that I've had with this is that it's very time consuming. Yes, I realize that because you're taking, uh, you have two hours put aside to work through this. You are working on ICT integration, so you, there's an awful lot of information I'm covering in that. You're looking at ATSL standards, another huge amount of information, and you're actually working on ePortfolio. So three of the hugest things you're gonna be covering this year, um, and we're cramming that all into two hours. Uh, please be aware that you need to know this stuff. So if you don't know it, it will take longer. If you do know it, you're probably finding that you're covering it in a short amount of time. Apologize if I'm talking too fast. That was one of the things that we've identified. You can slow it down if you wish, uh, or go back over it if I'm talk and, and re-listen to it. The students, some students have said I talk too slow or I don't cover enough for information. Apologize to those people. Obviously, you're very good at what you do, and um, I, I apologize if, it, if it's, these are boring. For those people who feel overwhelmed, yes, that's expected because when you go out into schools, hopefully I've given you some kind of awareness of what you're doing in ICT and an awareness of the actual standards as well. So, good luck.